Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Auntie Paulette. Well, this morning it is 5.28 a.m. And I have to go out of town um, Friday, which is tomorrow. Today's Thursday. And I wanted me a good meal before I left and to see my um, son and his kids. So I am making some oxtail, Jamaican oxtails. I've already washed them and you, wa you wash them two times and use a little vinegar. Now I'm gonna begin to season them. I'm gonna use black pepper I'm gonna use onion powder. Make sure it's powders, not salt, because salt can get too um, salty. Garlic powder. Paprika. Uh, accent Parsley Soy sauce and wish I your sauce. Then I'm gonna put the thyme in. I usually buy fresh thyme, but I, I bought it in the bottle because I didn't see any fresh in the grocery market. And then I have I have um, bell pepper I'm going to put in and cut up some some scallions. So I'm going to put in about, this is four or five, six scallions and the, cut up the bell pepper. And I'm going to go wash these and cut them up and put them in and I'll be back. Stay tuned. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Hey everybody, it's Auntie Paulette. While I was editing for the oxtails I made, I told you I was going to show you how I did my cabbage. And I showed you in the video everything got cut up. But somehow I cut that part of the video out, which was that I just chopped up my cabbage. And I added some bell pepper. Um, I used salt and pepper to taste. I cooked some, I cooked some fat back in the bottom of the pan 
with a little vegetable oil and I fried my cabbage. So I had the cabbage, the rice with the butter beans and the oxtails. And everybody told me how good the oxtails were. So finish watching the recipe. Sorry I cut out the part about the cabbage. Keep watching, like, share, and subscribe. Please keep watching me and subscribing to me. Thank you. All right, it's Auntie Paulette. I'm back. I had to wash the vegetables off. And I'm also, I, I didn't see this on the recipe that I watched somebody else make on YouTube. But I'm going to add some Sazon in mine. Okay, now I'll cut up the scallions. I got my cooking scissors that I like. Because it's easier than a knife to me while I'm showing you guys. This is the scallions. My bell pepper. I hope they'd be as flavorful. Because no, normally I would have seasoned them like this and let this sit in the refrigerator overnight. But um, seeing I want them for today, then I'm going to mix them real good with my hand because I'm going to make sure every piece gets the seasoning.
Okay. And when I'm finished with this, I'm going to go wash my hands. And then I'll show you the next step. When I brown them on the stove, braise them, they say. And I'll do that next. And I want you guys to put in the comments any of my cooking recipes you see. Do you like them? You want me, what else would you like me to show you how to cook? Um, like, share, and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. Just push that button because the auntie is going to be keep cooking. All right, guys. Stay tuned. Hey, everybody. It's Auntie Paulette. So, I cooked those oxtails. It was like five something this morning when I told you guys I was doing what I was doing. So it is 8.44 a.m. They're done. I just want to show you, I added two cans of large butter beans in there. And I didn't pour the juice off the can. The, I poured, I meant to say, I poured the juice that was on the, on there. So, I'm just going to let y'all see. I love the way the juice, the gravy came out with, with putting that juice. It's so um, delicious. So, this is Auntie Paulette again. I have to correct something again. When I looked at the juice that the gravy had, had made, it was very greasy. Because, you know, oxtail make your um, juice greasy. So, I really didn't like that. So, I kind of spooned out all the grease that I saw. And I went to the store and I bought some oxtail seasoning and two scotch hot bonnet peppers. And they were so good. So I'm just adding that because you didn't see me put the oxtail seasoning in the recipe. Next time, I even bought um, marinade for the oxtails, but I couldn't add that in. That's for the next time I cook. So please continue to watch. So I'm going to be back with the rest of this meal. I'm going to put this on a bed of rice. I'm going to make some rice, and I'm going to make some cabbage. So I'll be back to show you me making the cabbage and the rice. Stay tuned. Remember, say something nice in the comments if you like or you don't like. Um, also, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching Cooking with Auntie Paulette. Okay, everybody. So now I'm back and I got my cast iron skillet pan because I love it. It makes meat nice and seared. So I'm going to put a little vegetable oil in the pan. Just enough. To cover the sheet the pan and let that get very hot and as soon as it's very hot then I'll braise each oxtail Oh, when these get done, they're going to be so delicious.
You want to, you want them to be nice and caramelized on each side. I would show you guys myself, but as I said, it was only 528 when I started. It's 549. I still got on my nightgown. <laughs> I put them in the big pot after I braise them all and put them in the pot that I'm gonna cook them in. I'll be able, I'll probably be then took my shower and got dressed, and you'll be able to see me. But continue to watch Auntie Spallet. I also have a website www.onehopewine.com slash my shop slash Paulette dash through it <clears throat> so please it's some vintage wine it's from California and um one hope is a company that sells the wine and out of the proceedings that we make up of each bottle, we give a percentage of it, a percentage of that to a charity or we help out food pantries or homeless shelters. So please remember to go to my site www.onehopewine.com slash slash my shop slash slash Paulette dash through it
we want it nice and nice and caramelized like this. And we'll get it in the light on each side. So I got a lot of them to do, as you see. And after I braise them all, I'll be back to show you the next step. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe to Auntie Paulette, Cooking with Auntie Paulette. I also have a blog, Auntie Paulette, where I talk about various stories. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Hi, everybody. It's Cooking with Auntie Paulette again. So, I got my rice on. I soak it first. Then I cook it for about 20, 20 to 30 minutes. The oxtails you already seen is on. And I'm going to be doing my cabbage. I fry my cabbage. I like put a little oil. Um, first, I'll, I'll boil. First, I'll fill this pot and um, boil some smoked meat just for the flavor. Then I'll let the smoked meat get very, very soft and cut it up. And I'll put it to the side and get a pot and put a little cooking oil, vegetable oil at the bottom, my shredded up cabbage, and I put some bell pepper in with it, salt and pepper to taste, and then I fry it low. I cover it so the steam makes it fry and not stick and burn. And then I don't add any water to it. That's the way I make my cabbage. So we'll be back. Stay tuned for more of Cooking with Auntie Paulette. Don't forget to push that subscribe button. Like, share, subscribe.